what's up YouTube? Everybody out there in Cyberland, how you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about expectations. Expectations. Yes, the thing that can throw us all off just a bit. Um, and this is my personal expectations journey, if you will. <clears throat> uh, when I started my YouTube channel, it was nothing more than just a place for me to store a video. That's all it was. And then 2016 rolled around and I started doing a lot more videos here and there and now it is today what it is. I've got probably 300 videos and about 100 I think and two subscribers. Don't get a lot of views, don't get a lot of traffic. Uh, not YouTube popular if you will. Uh, expectations going into this were I'm going to create a channel. I'm on this new journey. Uh, I'm fighting through depression. I'm fighting through anxiety. I'm fighting through everyday problems. I'm an everyday kind of guy that everyone can connect to and, and enjoy some aspect of my videos and understand some sort of where I'm coming from and and in your mind you're expecting everything to just explode and all of a sudden you're the next big thing you have these hopes and dreams of uh, being the number one person on YouTube's most watched and searched list um, million two million subscribers all that good stuff and in reality that doesn't happen and uh, that's kind of where I'm at today um, my channel and my journey is to uh, not only work myself through depression and anxiety and just everyday problems and issues but it's also to help others with theirs now as you know if you look through my videos uh, my videos range from bicycling to uh, drawing coloring photography even a couple of you know uh, moments of basketball in there uh, it could be anything because that's what my channel is about anything video games everything and anything that gets you active and get your mind working and your mind and soul and you have a passion for it and and it helps you inside and outside to cope with everyday life uh, that's what my channel is about and uh, my hopes and dreams of having the biggest channel and the most popular channel and reaching people and making a difference and a change in the world through YouTube is most likely not going to happen and that's okay I guess and just so you know you can expect the same thing uh, the chances of making it successful in YouTube, and I'm not talking about monetary. Uh, I have no uh, ads on my videos, and I can't. Of course, if I wanted to monetize, I can't. I don't have uh, the amount of traffic and the amount of hours and the amount of subscribers and all that. Uh, but I'm not even going to monetize. Now, if I had a million subscribers or something, I'd probably do some monetization and ads and that stuff, and you know, make a little bit of money to put towards my channel. There's nothing wrong with that. But, uh, the chances of you making it 
YouTube famous are about 1 in 10 million, if that. It just doesn't happen. So, for all of us that had those hopes and dreams, let's come back down to reality and let's enjoy it for what it is and what we can put into it and what we can get out of it. And, uh, and we can still make a change and a difference it's just going to be on a smaller scale and there's nothing wrong with that um, a, another thing that I was doing back in 2016 is I started trying to put out some t-shirts uh, they started out just having all kinds of random activity kind of pictures on there from mountain climbing to cycling to video game stuff to the gardening, walking, hiking. I mean, just whatever you can imagine. I'd put a picture on there and then put my little saying on it. And uh, I was trying to sell and then I redesigned some stuff and got more designs and this, that. And I've sold a handful of shirts. Um, didn't really make any money. You can't really make much money on shirts unless you can make them yourself uh, people just aren't willing to spend that kind of money uh, now they will on designer stuff now they'll go out and spend you know thirty dollars on a Nike t-shirt or go out and spend fifty dollars on a Nike hoodie but they won't do that for your logo and if they do you're that one in a million one in ten million whatever the case may be um, so I started my shirts and I, I had big hopes and dreams to, to get those out to everyone. And I wanted to go down the street and see people in my shirts. I wanted to go in Walmart, see people in my shirts. Uh, I wanted to get them in bicycle shops and sporting goods shops and different kind of places like that. Uh, sell them out of my car. I wanted to just I wanted to be like this next big movement in the world you know for people to get up get out get around do it to it and uh, and that saying encompasses so much stuff and uh, it really can touch so many people it's just a matter of people accepting it and seeing the greatness of it uh, there's a, a there's a big good strong meaning in my shirts uh, and even the earlier ones that I had uh, you know mind body and soul get up get out get rad um, you know that encompasses a lot that's a, a lot of a lot of emotion and thoughts and, and feelings that can go into those shirts for those sayings you know I didn't just pick those sayings off the internet those came from my heart. Now, mind, body, and soul is not necessarily original, but when you stop and think about it, it's it's pretty moving, and it can it can be pretty powerful because that anything you do, man, just do it with your whole mind, body, and soul, and with the get up, get out, get ready, and do it to it. Now, that's mine, and uh, that's personal, and that's near and dear to me, and I just. You know, whenever I was really fighting depression and uh, getting into all this and, you know, I was in a, a totally different mindset and I was just trying to be happy and I was smiling and I was just trying to have fun again like old times and and I was pushing all this and, it, it, you know, all this really meant something to me. You know, my mom had died and I'd started riding bikes right before she died and, and, uh, and, she died uh, suffering from depression for, oh, I don't know, 13 years. 2003, when her mom died and she lost her job of 30 years because they closed down, uh, her life totally changed and she couldn't deal with it. And uh, she and I had talked several times and, and she was very depressed, very lonely. And I seen it destroy her, and I was fighting depression at the time too, uh, really since the mid 90s. Uh, and all this really had a good, strong meaning 
to me. So I was really fighting and just I was just really wanting for everything to really blow up from my t-shirts to my YouTube channel to everything. I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to be maybe locally famous. And I know that sounds stupid. But hey, a lot of people want to be famous. I just wanted to be locally known. I wanted to be known as that guy. Hey, that's the guy that rides the bicycles and that tells people to do this and that. And, and he's positive and he waves and he says hi and he's so friendly and this, that and the other. I wanted to be that guy. I wanted to be in the paper. I wanted local news. I wanted to be on the radio. I wanted some recognition and to just not necessarily for me, but for my message to get out there and reach people and to really, uh, you know, uh, reach into people's hearts and, and get people to change and, and, uh, well, when stuff like that don't happen and you have such big high hopes, kind of get you down and kind of put you back in reality. You know, we're all really here on this earth for a short time. Most of us, you know, are, are nobodies. We're never going to be nobodies. We're going to leave here with nothing. Um, you have just a small percentage of people in history that's going to come into this world, make a difference, and even when they die, they're going to be remembered forever. Okay? And there's just a small, minute percentage of the population that is to experience that. And I wanted to be part of that. Well, it just isn't meant to be. So, I do my best. I put out videos. I try to be pretty positive. I try to be decent. Um, I still preach to get up, get out, get ready, and do it to it. And I always will, I hope. So, anyway, I just wanted to make a video just kind of talking about expectations and what you can really expect in the end um, now you can say well it's what work you put into it well to an extent and then to another extent you know there's still that minute population that makes it and those that don't um, I do still try I do I wear my shirts I still say my get up get out get around do it to it I put that on pretty much every post on Facebook. I put it in my videos. So I'm still doing my thing. And I'm going to keep doing it. So, uh, yeah. Keep a hold of your dreams, guys. You know, go out there and try hard. But don't get too down on yourself if you don't make it. Be it in YouTube. Be it in some sort of business that you're trying to get into, t-shirts or whatever the case may be. Uh, just do your best. Eventually, hello. Eventually, you know, you're going to reach someone. It might not be 10 million people. It might be 10 people. But you're reaching someone and someone is appreciating what you've done. So... Now, I don't appreciate that dog. I'm just going to tell you that. Anyway, guys. I'm going to sign off now. Uh, I hope you get a little something out of this video. And I hope you keep trying to reach for your dreams. And keep fighting. Keep fighting the good fight. Keep smiling. Try to stay positive. Most of all, don't forget. Get up, get out, get rad. And do it to it. And we'll see you later.